Good afternoon, everybody. How are we all doing on this miserable outside Tuesday? Yes, you've got me in my car. I'm just waiting to go into my appointment at the minute. And I thought I'd quickly jump on here. Because once I get home, I need to sort my phone out. Because it's telling me I've only got so much storage left. Um, so some stuff's going to have to be deleted out of my storage box. Anyway, so I hope you're all doing fine not struggling with pain and whatever you're doing you're having a whole okay day if you're not big hug from me to you um so yeah i've been trying to do this video for the past thingy but as soon as i say something i'm thinking oh can't say that someone will think i'm aiming it at them and i'm not it's just my videos are not aimed at anybody before that someone jumps on here and spreads muck around you know what i mean it's just my opinion, my thoughts and feelings at that time. Anyway, so I thought today's video, I'll do a video about why I started YouTube. Oh, three magpies. Um, as you know, I'm slightly distracted today. I've not really, I kind of not slept very well, so my concentration's not great. Never is anyway, so what am I talking about? Um... So, yeah, the reason why I started, and I think I started it back in 2021, October time, I can't remember specifically when. I'd need to go back in and have a look at my stuff. <laughs> but it's slowly get growing, and that's good. So I started off YouTube talking about mental health, my conditions that I suffer with, fibromyalgia, my physical health, that's the one, and just life in general. Um, you might see the odd bit where my daughter or my son pops in behind me or when, whatever, but I would never be doing videos as a family vlogger because I've seen people out there getting dissed <laughs> and yeah it's not nice and I don't want to be targeted so my, it's just me unfortunately um I might talk about them now and again but that's it really anyway so the reason why I did like I said like I did I I was going through a crisis back in tw uh, end of 2020, beginning of 2021. I think it was November 2020, to be honest. That's when my first ever breakdown. And I didn't even know. And I knew there were hospitals for mental health, but I never thought I'd be in one. But, you know, that's not nothing to be ashamed about. It means you just need... Sorry, I just keep checking my time you just need you need that extra support just to get you through a difficult time and then there was a situation i was going through and it was just eating away at me and i had this voice hearing at the time i were obviously hallucinating i wasn't on the right medication oh at the time i wasn't anyway sorry this let me thingy glaring um, I wasn't on the right correct medication, so that wasn't helping, and I just needed some help, so I seeked it. And then life just got in the way a little bit, and it was, I was just up and down, up and down, and I've always had a struggle with depression since a young age, so it's nothing, you know, it's not just something that's just popped up, it's just trying to find ways of dealing with it. Sorry, I can't look at it. <laughs> camera straight the, the sun's just come out from nowhere so i'm not like mm. um but yeah so then my medication started working so i just started doing videos about my health conditions and my physical health conditions and i know there's a lot of people out there that suffer with fibro and i never knew that I, you know when you just think it's just the ant i've never heard of that work fibromyalgia before until I started doing YouTube. I mean, I knew one person had it. That was my friend that lived around con from me. I said, but any other than that, I never knew anything about it until I researched it a little bit. I'm like, oh, my Lord, I've had this for you. I, I didn't even realise stress could kick it off. And obviously with mental health, was, at the time we were thinking it was triggering my pain and then my pain levels and my mental health together it just triggered me full stop on my body just didn't know what to do with it my mind went and everything um 
so yeah I just it's like a diary it started off like a diary to me so I talk to get people about how I'm feeling on a daily basis and how it's impacted me and stuff like that and you've probably seen the odd time when one of the kids have walked in behind me and you know I can't control that unfortunately but usually they're good now if I'm doing a video they'll stay out the way <laughs> unless Hannah sneaks up on me in the kitchen and she's quiet Believe me, you don't even hear her walking. She's so quiet. I got tired all of a sudden. But yeah, and that's the reason why I started YouTube, just to see it, what other support were out there. And it's amazing how many people have fibro and other mental health conditions. And I just wanted to make it aware and share my story, basically. And it kind of helped. And then obviously then another blip of mental health and then got on a different... I think certain medications don't agree with me. Like, they probably don't agree with a lot of people. But, yeah. Now I'm on loads and I just feel like... <laughs> if I don't take them, I don't. I can't function. And I don't want to be relying on medication for the rest of my life. I know I'm, I need it for my restless legs. There's no way I can't take that on a night. I, I, it's like, oh, I need that. I definitely need that. Otherwise, my legs are jumping all night. And it's not a nice feeling. It feels like someone's sticking, stuck, load of hands in, in my trousers, uh, my legs. So it's like that feeling and then they'd start jumping and that and these times where i do go and stand in the shower and just hose the shower down with red hot water because that's supposed to relax the muscles and three times i, c I can i've done it one in one night it's like oh please let me go to sleep but yeah that's the reason why i like doing youtube it just gives me something to do as well it, uh, if i know um someone else is struggling and i can try and help and or oh, people can go well i'm going through that and you are so you know and I enjoy getting comments as well from you guys um pardon me i know you're gonna get the negative ones and i have received some of them and i just delete them where before if i'm having a bad day it does affect me it does affect me so I've got itchy nose. So I tend not to, if I see it now, and like someone put a comment under me, one of the YouTube shorts, um, and I can't remember what it was, to be honest. I just deleted it. I thought I don't need to see that, and neither does anybody else. If you don't like see it, watching it, don't watch it. Simple as. Mm -hmm. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go into my appointment now and I'll catch up with you with a little update afterwards. I'll see you later. Oh, that was such an hard appointment. Oh, take this air down whilst I'm driving because I feel like my bubble gets stuck at the back of my seat. Um, so that was an hard appointment. Just everything, you know when someone goes, are you all right? That's it, bang. I get upset. Uh, anyway, so... Back here on Thursday. Oh, the joys of mental health, isn't it? And at least it's not raining, I suppose. Uh, off home I go and see what is in left for me at home. Dog-wise, I shouldn't choose anything. Because that dog is becoming a little pain in the bum. Anyway guys, thanks again for watching. Don't forget the like button, subscribe button, and the notification bell if you're new to this channel. And I'll see you in the next video. See you later guys. Bye.